Team of the Week 22 is dropping on Wednesday and in this video today we're going to predict which players could be featuring. If you need to get your hands on some coins to improve your ultimate team then check out the link in the description igvault.com and if you use the code Kieran at checkout you'll get yourself a pretty nice discount. As per usual if you could leave a like rating on the video that would be absolutely fantastic and don't forget to be active in the comment section down below let me know who you think will pick up a special item on Wednesday. Right then goalkeepers now this week it's been incredibly tough because there are so many options. There are so many possible goalkeeper choices this week, and I've actually gone for three goalkeepers. We don't regularly see three in Team of the Week, but it can happen and has happened, so uh, I get the feeling it could be a free goalkeeper Team of the Week because, uh, yeah, there are so many options. I'll discuss the ones I've left out once we've got through the ones I've gone for. So the first goalkeeper I have picked is uh, Handanovic of Inter Milan. Um, Inter beat AC Milan 3-0, and uh, in this game, there are actually many options for the info. Handanovic made 8 saves and kept clean sheet and got very good match ratings, that's why I've gone for him. Alternatively, in the same game, um, Lukaku got a goal and a assist, but he's in Team Week 21, so we're going to avoid him. And uh, Latoura Martinez got two goals. He was in Team Week 19, so uh, yeah, still seems a bit too soon for another inform for him. The alternative option from this match, I think, is Perisic, who got two assists. So uh, yeah, it'd be interesting to see which of those Inter players EA go for. But um, Handano Handanovic of eight saves, um, hard to ignore that. Then we move on to Rube Patricia, who made seven saves in a 1-0 win against Leeds and like I said in yesterday's video um, I don't think Wolves fans will mind me saying that um, this game very easily could have gone the complete opposite direction. Patricio made some really really good saves especially late in the game and uh, obviously kept the clean sheet so I think he is certainly a fine candidate to get in this week. He could be the starting 11 or the sub keeper and then to end we have yet another goalkeeper option. This time we have Levante's goal goalkeeper who made double figure saves against Barcelona which is just nuts so it's uh, hard to not include him he did recently get a man of the match card that's worth noting but um, yeah I just couldn't not include him for that kind of performance anyway let's quickly talk about some goalkeepers who I have unfortunately had to have left out which is uh, kind of mad because some of them could definitely get in we've got Phillips a goalkeeper from the EFL leagues and uh, made five saves in a 4-0 win against Preston Two of them five saves were penalty stops, which is pretty mad, and it was really, really hard not to include him. Um, Jordan Pickford made six saves and kept clean sheet in a 2-0 win, win sorry, against Liverpool, so uh, obviously hard to ignore him as well. And, yeah, th th there are other goalkeepers too. There's Samba, who made, like, six saves. And, uh, yeah, uh, as I said, goalkeeper choice is very, very tough this week. If you agree or disagree with my goalkeeper selections, let me know in the comments. Okay, so before moving on to the outfielders, let's quickly talk about the sponsors of this series. One Football, who, as you will already be aware of, there is a link to download in the description. Free to use, free to download, all that good stuff. So you've got absolutely nothing to lose. Um, as you can see, we were... We were incorrect with our prediction of Arsenal to beat Manchester City. I was fearing the worst after the first few minutes when uh, Sterling got that goal, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. Um, obviously, the match centre is highlighted here where we can check up on games from the day. Normally, I would click the Arsenal match, but uh, we're not going to do that. We're going to actually click the Aston Villa-Leicester City game in which you can see Javi Barnes was the standout player and he might feature later on in this video. If this kind of app is something you'd be interested in where you can see more than just stats, there's a live ticker feed and stuff like that see the lineups before the games too then uh, you know what to do give that link in the description a click and try the app out for yourself plenty of features that i haven't mentioned too so go discover them yourself okay so outfielders these are going to be mixed up a bit we're going to have midfielders strikers defenders just all muddled up so uh let go we start with luis alberto who got the only goal in a win against sampdoria also got a decent match rating from gazetta as well and that's why we've chosen to include him he's also one of them players like i said yesterday who like danny Pereira just seems to get in quite regularly just seems to be an EA favorite next up is Isaac obviously very recently did have a future stars item but when he scores a hat-trick it's uh it's pretty hard to deny him so uh three goals in a 4-0 victory for him and um, hopefully is a decent card but probably will be pointless because obviously the future stars card is so much better I actually really like it and I got lucky and I got it as an untradeable in my club and then we come on to a midfielder Sabitzer who scored an absolute banger in a win against Hertha Berlin 
And um, if you haven't seen his goal, I do recommend looking it up after you've seen this video because it was a, a terrific strike. Also got an assist and uh, yeah, three nil victory against Hertha Berlin. There are other options from this game though. Willie Alban played well and uh, Mukiele got a goal in a clean sheet too. So uh, there are alternatives players from this match. Daka got himself a hat trick in a 4-2 victory against Rapid Vienna, but it's worth noting in this very same game, Borussia got assists for all four goals, and it was hard to ignore him, but uh, with Daka being a gold and Borussia being a silver, and um, that's why I've gone for the forward instead of the midfielder. Lucas Piazon got himself two goals and two assists in a 4-2 victory, so four goal contributions for him for his side, and um, he is one that is obviously very, very hard to ignore. And then we've also got the English midfielder, Mavidi D who uh, is playing for Montpellier. Uh, two goals for him in a 2-1 win against Stad René. Now, defensive options this week were a bit of a struggle, especially for high-rated ones. So, uh, yeah, not confident in many of my uh, centre-back or full-back picks, but... Uh Alas, we move on. Uh, Fidel got himself a goal in a 2-0 win. Also got a clean sheet as well and a semi-decent rating. So uh, we're going to throw him in. We've got Streak here who got two goals and a assist in a 6-0 win. And um, yeah, a very big win for his side. I... I have to include one of them players just because I think there's a good chance of one of them happening. It's just a case of which one. And uh, we also have Fulham's Anderson, who uh, he just put in a good shift. He put in a good performance for Fulham in a 1-0 win against Sheffield United. And it's a big three points for Fulham, so uh, we're going to go for it. But um, as I say, not too confident in many of my defensive picks this week. Uh, moving on to Harvey Barnes. Like Isaac, had a future stars card very recently, but um, is still putting in good performances. A goal and a assist in a 2-1 two, uh, two win against Aston Villa could certainly be enough to see him pick up another special item in this game. Uh, Wilkes of Hull City, I can't see him being denied at all. Um, got himself a hat-trick and a assist in a midweek win against Wigan. And then on the weekend, scored two more goals in a, a less successful result. So uh, five goals in the past few days for him. Like, it would be ridiculous if he didn't get in. So I uh, expect to see that one. And then we come on to a much higher rated player in the form of Bernardo Silva. A goal and a assist for him in uh, Manchester City's 3-1 win against Everton. Um, and then obviously was involved um, in uh, the win against Arsenal on the weekend, which we don't need to discuss in depth. With Everton beating Liverpool and that obviously being a big derby match in the Premier League, the Merseyside derby, it's hard to see an inform not coming from that game and I suspect there will be one. I previously mentioned Pickford has a chance but um, with all the goalkeeper options, I think EA might look elsewhere and uh, the goal scorer in this game, well the one that wasn't a penalty, was uh, obviously Richarlison. He also opened the account in the game so uh, I get the feeling he could be um, a pretty good option this week and to be fair, um, an inform Richarlison I think would be uh, pretty popular just because uh, he's got a good card and with a couple of good upgrades could become something really really good in game we then move on to Wolfsburg Stefan he scored twice in a 3-0 victory so I could certainly make his way in and then we come on to a bit of an interesting one we have Casemiro who got a goal in a Real Madrid win against Real Valladolid now in this match Tony Cruz got man of the match and also got the assist and I probably would have gone for Tony Cruz however we've already seen a flashback Cruz like semi-leaked in FIFA like it was available then it wasn't and it just hasn't been released since so um maybe there's a flashback cruise coming at some point this week um but um obviously we don't know for sure but because that's all up in the air I've gone for Casemiro instead but if EA do pull the plug on that flashback cruise then uh, he very well could be in the team of the week instead so uh, something to think about right there. Frankfurt got themselves a really good result against Bayern Munich winning 2-1 in this game Kamada got himself a goal and a assist so he's an option but I'm actually going to go for Yunez who got himself a goal and it was a really really good goal as well and he was also just involved like in the build up to everything that Frank Fett did well at least in the highlights that I saw anyway I didn't watch the full game but um, judging by the match ratings and uh, the highlights that I did see this guy was on fire in that game so um, I'm going to go for him to pick up a second in form this week and uh, could actually be a very interesting card I've only just realised like how insane this guy's dribbling is in FIFA so um yeah, could be semi-usable. We'll have to see what kind of boost this item gets given. And then next we have another Bundesliga player. We have Erling Haaland who uh, got himself two goals in the 4-0 victory against Schalke. Once again, derby match and in form is likely. And uh, 
yeah, two goals. He is the prime candidate. There is other options. You've got uh, Jaden Sancho, who got a goal and a assist. You've also got Rafael Guerrero, who got himself a goal and a clean sheet. But um, I'm going for Haaland. Like, his, his, his first goal was brilliant. Like, this is a kick. Um, once again, another goal you should look up if you haven't seen it. And, um, yeah, the kid's on fire. He really, really is. The definition of an informed player. And uh, I suspect we will see him get another special item come Wednesday. And, uh, yeah, it should be a pretty mad card. I just wish to upgrade, upgrade his dribbling a bit more. Like, in FIFA, his pace is brilliant his physicals are brilliant his shooting's brilliant but his dribbling sucks he feels so heavy he needs big boost in that area and hopefully then he'll become pretty usable and then to finish us off, we do have three quick fire options. We've got Dusan Tadic, who got himself three assists in a 4 2 win against Sparta Rotterdam. Uh, Maripan, the Chilean centre back, got himself a goal in a big win for Monaco, beating PSG two goals to nil. Um, ultimately, it's just one of them games where I think an inform will be produced from it because obviously it's a very big game in France, and uh, he was the uh, standout option for me. But I uh, wouldn't be surprised to see someone else get in instead from Monaco. But uh, we're going to go with him. Him. And then finally, we have Andre Carrillo, who got himself a goal and assist, and uh, yeah, helped his side win 3 1 in the Saudi Pro League. So those are my predictions for Team of the Week 22. There's a few good players in there potentially, but um, yeah, it's not the most amazing Team of the Week, but um, yeah. It's okay, I guess. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Let me know what players you think I've missed out and which players you agree with. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.